Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the One UI boys. We have the Galaxy Note 8 against the Galaxy Note 9. So I recently installed the One UI on the Note 8. I did a full review and I was thinking that I should do a speed test against the Note 9, which also got the One UI update, just to see how much of a difference between the speed really is after this big update. Let's see if the Note 8 can still match the performance of the best of Samsung right now, which is the Galaxy Note 9. So Galaxy Note 8 on the left, Note 9 on the right. Kicking things off with a boot up comparison. Here we go. And this is something that I forgot to do in my previous speed test video, but let's see if there is improvement in there or not, or how slow the Note 8 has gotten when it comes to the boot up. So Samsung logo, and I think the Note 9 will win. Yes, it does and the note date about two second difference there not a huge one as you can see both phones are rocking the fresh one ui look a huge huge upgrade for both phones i'm really happy that samsung has brought all the features from their current flagship phones to the last year's flagship phones with their One UI. Nothing is missing and that is amazing. So enough talking, let's get down to the apps opening test. As you can see, we have everything closed up in the background. And let's kick things off with the phone dialer for the first application. Here we go. And as you can see, that was exactly the same. Keep in mind, the Galaxy Note 8 is about one year plus time old so a lot of people think that samsung phones they get laggy over time so this is going to be the test for that i'm a launch settings here we go and that also seems very equal to me let's uh get out and launch some third-party applications starting from the instagram and okay both phones were super fast with the latest feed hard to tell again you guys are the judge here uh, let's get to my profile and that also got loaded up almost at the same time super amazing performance from the note 8 matching the galaxy note 9 let's go back here let's launch the camera okay quicker on the note 9 again a little bit quicker on the note 9 so yeah just a little bit quicker on the note 9 instagram camera let's scroll down feels smooth on both phones no lag whatsoever super awesome scrolling let's launch some games so starting with subway surfers and as you can see we have the loading time kicking in on both phones but the galaxy note 8 is faster a little bit faster compared to the Note 9 in loading up this game. So let me just show you guys here. Super smooth with the gameplay as well. We're just gonna leave it there. Netflix. And I think definitely, definitely faster on the Note 9. Snapchat. Galaxy Note 9. Spotify. And this time the Galaxy Note 8. We've got the Asphalt 9 game on both phones. Let's see who is going to be the one faster with this game. So Note 8, first one to come to the loading point and not now. Oh, so I don't really have the newer version on the Note 8, but uh, still, let's see. Okay, Galaxy Note 9 is done. Uh, Note 8 is just a little bit far behind. So, and just to show you guys that the game does work absolutely fine with one UI on Samsung phones. So you can see it is working without any problem. And as far as the performance is concerned, it, I can't really tell the difference. I mean, Note 8 is running it uh, pretty smooth as well. Although both phones are capped at 30 FPS, uh, not 60. So hopefully someday uh, Gameloft can bring 60 FPS to Android phones as well. Running pretty smooth. We're just gonna leave the game right there. And let's check out YouTube. Uh, I think Galaxy Note 9 faster. It was done with its feed a bit quicker compared to the Note 8. Just some split second differences. The Galaxy Note 8 is doing surprisingly well. Let's go ahead and launch Quora. And Galaxy Note 8 faster there. Pin out. And the Note 9 a little bit quicker. Let's uh, go to the actual gameplay here. Next on the list is Facebook. Uh, just a 
to see uh, both phones were I think about the same. Next is Photoshop Express and this is my favorite photo editing application for smartphones. You can see uh, similar speed and no difference there in launching this application. So uh, I'm just going to quickly load up an 8K image on both phones, apply vibrancy all the way to the max and also add some uh, bokeh to the image all the way to the max. So now we're just going to do the export on both phones in the highest quality at the same time. Boom. And let's see. Both are taking some time. Oh, the Note 8 is done while the Galaxy Note 9 took a bit of time there to export this image. Wow, I am actually impressed by the performance of the Galaxy Note 8. I'm not kidding. One UI is definitely uh, doing its wonders with the older flagship phone. And last but not the least, we have the default camera application. Here we go. And that's about the same on both phones. Alrighty, time for a quick browsing action. We have a wikipedia.org website on both phones. And as you can see, Note 8 a little bit quicker, but overall really fast performance on both phones. Next on the list is uh, wwe.com and that is loaded up faster. Again, slightly faster on the Galaxy Note 8. Let's just check out the scrolling. Really, really smooth on both phones. Okay, time for the RAM management, the juicy part uh, where I am interested in a lot. So let's see, phone dialer, that is still there. Settings, still there. Instagram, and that is actually still there, but I don't know why there was this white thing. I thought it was a refresh, but it was still there. Note 9 just keeping its head in the game. Subway Surfer, it is still there on the Note 9. Oh, well, I got refresh on the Galaxy Note 8. There you have it. Note 9 pulling ahead. We've got Netflix and that got refresh on the Note 9. Okay, surprising results here. Uh, let's see, Snapchat. We've got, I think, refresh on both phones, I believe. Spotify. Again, both refreshed. Asphalt 9. And both phones refreshed this game as well. So the YouTube application, it also got refreshed. And if we go back to Quora, that also got refreshed. So just the few couple of applications that were opened up in the background, like four apps were still there, but other applications are indeed getting refreshed. Oh no, so Note 9 is actually keeping this in the memory. So still uh, a little bit better RAM management on the Galaxy Note 9 compared to the Note 8, as you can see, Facebook's still there. We've got Photoshop Express that is refreshed on both phones as well. And we are back in the browser. So interesting test. I have to say I'm super impressed by the performance on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. The apps opening performance, the boot up, everything was super close to the Note 9. And it answers this question that the Note 8 is not laggy after all this time, it's still running things very fast. And for the RAM management, the Galaxy Note 9 did a bit of a better job. Uh, obviously in your usage, if you just use four or five applications, then both phones will be able to keep everything in the memory. But in the extreme testing, the Note 9 still was able to uh, be on the top. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, why not subscribe to the channel for future tech videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.